You will come and sit on a folded blanket in Sukhasana. So basically just the shins or the ankles cross. Sitting up nice and tall, letting your shoulders relax. Resting the hands on top of the thighs or the knees. And we'll close our eyes. And we'll just take a moment to draw our awareness inward, centering ourselves, focusing entirely on the breath. Just noting, noticing the ebb and flow of our breath, sensation of our breath throughout the body. Like to share with you a poem called Within and Without. Look within, look again, and look even deeper. Gaze closely, turning the burning diamond of your awareness to admire its purity. What is a thought? What is the weight of a dream, and where does it go? What are our shadows made of? Be aware you are aware. If you look close enough at loneliness, you'll see it for what it is, a forgetting of your connection with all things. Through spirit, through God, through breath, through whatever is sacred and true for you right now. Allow the questions, appreciate the mystery, prepare for the extraordinary as you welcome your, yourself into all that you are. So again, allowing yourself to float within as you sit in stillness, allowing the breath, and just being in the presence of allowance. Deep and come to the nose. And slow exhale to the mouth. Once more, deep and come to the nose. And slow exhale to the mouth. your eyes closed, go ahead and blink them open. Again, the hands are resting on the knees. Just take a nice deep inhale, let the shoulders roll back, lift your chest, come into cow. And then exhale to round yourself into cow. Knees are really leaning back, drawing the navel in, rolling, rounding the shoulders, chin to chest. And then inhale, let the shoulders roll back, lift your chest. And exhale around. Good. Once more. Inhale. 
working with your chest. And exhale to round. We'll do three more like this. Big inhale, move your chest. And exhale to Inhale to lift the chest. And exhale to round. Well, let's take an inhale. Let's come into a neutral spine. And as you exhale, let's bring your hands behind us. So you'll bring your fingertips right to the mat or to the floor behind you. Let your shoulders roll back. Draw your elbows towards one another. So you feel your shoulder blades drop towards one another, so towards the spine. And then just move your shoulder blades down your back so you'll feel your chest lift a bit. Shoulders moving away from your ears. And then just gently lean back. Okay, so you're just arching the upper back. Try to relax the legs, root your sit bones, come into a little back bend here. Take one more full breath. Really breathe into your chest, breathe into the ribcage. And then exhale, slowly release back into neutral spine. Let's bring our left hand off to the side. We'll take the right arm. You're gonna bring it across the body, just circle it around. And then open it back out to the right. Do that one more time. The arm circles around to the left and then opens up. So just really opening up the shoulder, opening up the upper body, opening up the chest. Do that one more time. Okay, the arm circles around. Good. Now bring your right arm off to the side, fingertips to the mat. We'll take an inhale. And then exhale to bring that right arm up and over. Move your sit bones down and then inhale to reach that right arm back to the right. Exhale back over towards the left. And inhale, back over towards the right. Exhale, come back over towards the left with that right arm. Pause here. And then just really feel a stretch here on in your left, right side. Place your right at the hip, rooting your right sit bone down, reaching through the sides of your waist. Okay, so the arm is reaching, you're really lengthening that right side with the arm. Take a nice deep inhale. As you exhale, slowly come up, turn towards your left, bring your right hand to your left knee, and we'll just bring the left fingertips behind us, coming into a twist. So that your shoulders roll back, so you're drawing those shoulder blades towards the spine and down the back towards the tailbone. Take one more full breath here. And slowly come back to the center. Extend the legs and just let your legs move from side to side, right from the hip. Maybe we'll just recross. Okay, so whatever shin was in front of the other. Just recross the legs. Bringing your right hand, your right fingertips off to the side. We'll take the left arm, we'll take an inhale, as we exhale, the arm crosses around the body, towards the body, and then we'll reach the arm up and to the left. And again, inhale, exhale, and inhale. Exhale, and inhale. Good. One more time. Exhale. And inhale. So the fingertips come off to the left. And then we'll exhale that left arm to the right. And then inhale. Bring that left arm back to the left. Exhale over towards the right. Inhale back to the left. And exhale over towards the right. And we'll just pause here. Again, you're stretching and lengthening from the side waist, so from that left side, rooting down to that left sit bone. Okay, 
take one more full breath. And then inhale, slowly come up. As you exhale, you'll turn towards your right, left hand to your right knee, right arm behind you, coming into your twist. Slow exhale. Right out of your twist, come back to center. We'll extend our legs once more. And then just move the legs again from side to side. Okay, so just sitting up nice and tall, okay, rooting the sit bones, lengthening the legs so your legs are extended out in front of you. Let's grab your strap. Coming into Paschimottanasana, you'll strap the balls of your feet. Again, rooting your sit bones down, letting the shoulders drop back, lifting to the sides of your waist, pulling the belly in. Take a nice deep inhale. As you exhale, holding from your hips. So you're really elongating the spine okay, so that the lower back isn't rounding but instead lengthening. Now it's available for you to walk your hands down towards your feet, down the strap, I'm gonna do that. Really flex your feet. Think of the very tops of your thighs, pressing down into the mat. Again, you're elongating the spine. So if you feel any rounding in the shoulders and the lower back, pull back. Okay? And again, try to lengthen and fold from your hips. At the moment you start to feel your lower back round, just stop. If you feel a stretch in your hamstrings just by holding the strap to your feet, you're good. One more full breath here. Really breathing into the back of your legs. And slowly releasing. We'll take our strap and then just place it off to the side. Grab your blocks, place them at the front of your mat. And let's come lay on our belly. Okay, so if you have your folded blanket, just place your folded blanket right at your lower belly so that your pelvis is resting on your blanket. And we'll come into space pose. So you're propping yourself up on your forearms. Shoulders are right over your elbows. Fingers are spread. You're drawing the navel in, lengthening your tailbone. And again, that action of the shoulders drawing towards the spine and then down the back. Okay, so that you feel this lift in your chest, this broadening of the collarbone. And it's just taking a few deep breaths here. to activate your legs. So the very tops of your feet are down to the mat. Legs are about to hip apart. Let's firm up our thighs and we'll lift our knee caps. Okay, so resting on a blanket really allows you to be able to lift the knees a little bit. We're going to come into a cat-cow here. Okay, so again, just to warm up the spine a little bit more. Pressing into your forearms. Take an inhale. If your chest lifts, you're arching your upper back. And as you exhale, press down to the forearms again, round, so you can draw your chest, your chin to your chest. 
and then inhale, chest comes forward. And then exhale, round. Inhale, chest lifts. And exhale. Good, one more, inhale. And exhale. Take an inhale, come right back into your sphinx pose, shoulders back, legs are active, bellies in. Slowly bring the chest down, towards the mat, you're going to maneuver the hands back so that the hands are right alongside the ribcage. Shoulders roll back, elbows drawing towards the torso. Don't press into your hands. Again, you're pressing down the tops of your feet. The kneecaps are still lifted. And we'll come into Cobra. Inhale, lift. And then let's exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower down. The last time, inhale, lift. And exhale, lower down. Let's take a nice deep inhale here. On your exhale, you're gonna slowly make your way into a tabletop. Bring your, your blanket off to the side. And we'll bring your big toes to touch, open the knees wide. Let's come into child's pose. Okay, so just round into your lower back, tuck your tailbone. Bring your sit bones towards your heels. Rounding here, just rounding into the back for a minute. And then let your arms extend forward, let your torso extend forward, and then let your forehead and your arms drop to the mat. And then just breathing nice and deep here. Take one more full breath here. We'll inhale to our tabletop once more. Okay, so just coming into a rotation of our spine. Take an inhale, lift the chest into cow. Now as you exhale, you're just going to rotate towards your right. As you rotate, you're going to round yourself into cat. Pulling the belly in, head drops. Keep circling the hips, the torso, the shoulders, opening out to the left, opening your chest up again into cow, and then circling back around to your right. Let's do that one more time. So you're opening yourself up into cow, hopefully. And then there, exhaling as you're rounding into cow. And then we'll circle our way around, coming back into cow. So the chest lifts, your tailbone's up towards the ceiling. And then we'll reverse. So you'll exhale to your left. Okay. Rotating the spine, rounding into cat. Keep rotating over towards your right, and then opening up again into cow. And then again, rounding into cat. We'll do that one more time. On your last one, come into a neutral spine. And then take an inhale, lift the chest into cow. And then exhale into cow. Inhale into a neutral spine, tuck your toes. And then exhale the downward facing dog. So just taking a moment here just to stretch through your dog. Okay, your feet be just a little wider than your foot. And then just imagine the muscle hugging to your bones, so it's really just hugging to your bones as much as you can imagine it. Pulling the belly in, lengthen. Take one more full breath. 
And as you exhale, walk your feet in just a bit. Okay, so you're drawing your legs towards one another. Okay, so just shorten your stance. So before you had your legs a little wider than your hip width, now you're just going to bring your legs in. And we're going to make our way into plank. Okay, so just shuffling your way. Getting your shoulders right over your wrists, lowering your hips. If you need to lower your knees down for this, go ahead and do that. And as you do this, really draw the navel in towards your spine. Okay. Now again, you can keep your knees down or you can keep the knees lifted. You're not going to hold this for very long, so you're just pressing down into your hands. Take a nice deep breath. Exhale. Good. Rest yourself back to down facing back. Take an inhale. And exhale. Good, lower your knees to the mat. Let's sit back on our heels. You can sit back on a block if you'd like. Just gonna give our wrists a little bit of therapy. Okay, so take your thumb and your index finger, wrap it around your right wrist, so that left thumb and index finger wraps around your right wrist. And then you're just gently going to just draw your hands, those fingertips down. Okay, so the left hand draws down just a bit, just to decompress your right wrist. Now, as you do that, begin to circle your right wrist. Okay, so you're just circling. Make a little fist with the thumb out. Okay, so a soft wrist, the soft fist. Again, you're just decompressing the wrist for a moment. And then we'll reverse. Okay, and we'll do the other side. So the left thumb and left index finger wraps around your left wrist. So the right thumb, left index, right thumb, right index finger wraps around your left wrist. You're gonna gently draw the fingers down that wrist, creating a little bit of decompression. Make a soft fist with your left hand, the thumb out, and then begin to circle the wrist. And reverse. And then just shake it out. Let's come back to our hands and knees. We'll come right back to downward facing dog. So tuck your toes. Take an inhale as you exhale down the feet and top. Take another inhale as you exhale. Just slowly begin to walk your feet. So you meet your hands in the front of your mat. Let your feet be the foot apart, toes pointing towards that front of the mat. Now you can place your hands to your blocks if you'd like, or you can place your hands to your shins. We're going to come into a half forward fold, so hands either to your blocks or your shins. So take an inhale to come up halfway, so we'll elongate your spine. And then exhale to fold forward. Rise up, inhale with the arms, reach up. And exhale, palms to the neck. Inhale, float the arms up, press down into your feet, let the spine grow nice and long. And then exhale to fold forward. Hands either come to your shins or your blocks. Inhale, halfway up, spine lengthens. Exhale to fold forward. Inhale, float the way up. And exhale, palms to the ground. Once more, inhale with the arms sweep up. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway up. And exhale, fold forward. Rise up, inhale. And exhale, palms to prayer. Take a moment here. Soften up. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Hands to your blocks or your shins. So take an inhale, come up halfway. As you exhale, hands either come alongside your feet or you push your hands to your blocks and bring your blocks alongside your feet. Step your left leg back into a runner's lunge. And then just take a moment just to stretch through that leg. And then you're going to take a nice deep inhale as you exhale. You're going to rotate your left heel down towards the mat so the toes turn out. Okay, so we're just going to focus on that left leg. So take an inhale, exhale, inhale, 
Rotate back onto the ball of your foot, so you're lifting that heel, okay, closing the hip, and then exhale to open the hip up, release the left heel to the mat, toes turn out. Okay, that one more time. Inhale, runners up. Exhale, heel comes down. Inhale, ball of the foot, heel lifts. Exhale, pull down. Inhale, come to the ball of that foot, reach your blocks forward, and then just exhale to step forward into a forward fold. Drop your head. Hands to your shins, inhale, halfway up. Exhale to fold forward. Float your way up, inhale. And exhale, palms to pray. Once more, inhale, let the arms sweep up. And exhale to fold forward. Inhale, halfway up. As you exhale, the hands either come to the outside of the feet or your blocks come toward the outside of your feet. You'll step your right leg back into a runner's lunge. Just make sure your left knee's over your ankle. You'll take an inhale here. And on your exhale, the right heel pivots down towards the mat, the toes turn out, your hips open up towards the right. And then inhale, lift the heel, come back to the ball of the foot. Exhale, pivot onto that heel, release to the mat, toes turn out. Inhale, here come back to the ball of your foot. And exhale, release, open up. Good, inhale, come back to the ball of that foot, come back to your runner's lunge, reach your blocks forward, and then exhale to step forward into a forward fold. Hands to your shins, inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold forward. Rise up, inhale. Exhale, palms to pray. And once more, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, hands either come alongside your feet or your blocks come alongside your feet. The left leg steps back again into a runner's lunge. You'll take an inhale and exhale, pivot that heel down towards the mat. Turn your, those left toes out. Your right toes are pointing forward. That right knee is right over the ankle, pointing towards your second toe. Let's take the left arm, we'll reach it up and back and come into warrior two. Okay, so just opening up here, lengthening through that inner thigh, dropping the shoulders, lengthening the outside edge of your foot, opening up, take a nice deep inhale. Exhale. Good, take another inhale. On your exhale, let your arms windmill. You're gonna pivot back onto the ball of that left foot. Lengthening through, spreading the toes. Reach your blocks forward, take an inhale. And then exhale, step forward into a forward fold. Hands to your shins, inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Rise up, inhale. Exhale, palms to breath. Once more, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Hands to your shins or your blocks. Inhale, halfway up. As you exhale, your hands either come alongside your feet or your blocks too. And the right leg steps back to the runner's lunge. You'll take an inhale. As you exhale, pivot down onto that right heel. Turn your toes out. Your left toes are pointing forward. Lengthen the outside edge of your right foot. Take that right arm, bring it forward. Reach it up, bring it back, and come into warrior two. So your left arm reaches forward. So those left fingertips, those left toes, and that left knee are all pointing in the same direction. And you're just lengthening here, lengthening the outside edge of your right foot. Relaxing the shoulders. Breathe for the nice you can help. And exhale. Good, one more inhale. And exhale. Good, take 
one more nice deep inhale. As you exhale, wind on the arms, pivoting back onto the ball of that right foot, coming into your runner's lunge, reaching your blocks forward, take an inhale, and then exhale to step forward into your fork. Hands to your shins, inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fall. Rise up, inhale. And exhale, palms to pray. Let's take a moment here. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale. This time you're going to plant your hands to the mat. Step your left leg back, come to runner's lunge, and step your right leg back, come to downward facing dog. Then just taking a moment just to lengthen through your dog. And we're going to try stepping forward with the right leg. So your right leg, just take an inhale, lift it up. Don't worry about the height of your leg. Just let it be nice and strong. Flex that foot back. As you exhale, draw the knee in towards your chest. You're going to gaze towards your blocks or gaze towards your thumbs. And then step your foot between your hands. And then take your right hand and bring that leg forward to it. Pivot onto that left heel so you're turning the toes out. Now this time, see if you can line your right heel up with your left arch. You're lengthening through again. That left arm is going to reach up and back. Press down into your feet, coming to warrior two. You're still bending into that right knee, the toes of that right foot, the knee of that right leg, the right arm all pointing in the same direction. Take a deep inhale here. And exhale. Good. Wind of the arms so that your left arm comes down, up, right arm comes down. Your hands either come to your mat or your blocks. Pivot onto your left foot. Take an inhale and exhale. Step forward into your forward fold. Hands to your shins. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale to fold. Rise up. Inhale. Exhale, palms to prayer, take a moment. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway up. On your exhale, your hands are going to come down to the mat. Your right leg is going to step back into the runner's lunge, and then your left leg steps back into the downward dog. Just taking your moment here in your downward dog, pulling your belly in, pressing firmly down into your hands. We go right into our left side. So the left leg, you're going to take an inhale to float it up. Don't worry about the height of your leg. Just let it be strong back behind you. Flex that foot. As you exhale, pull the belly in, pull the knee in towards your chest. Try to gaze between your hands and try to plant your foot between your hands. If you need to take your left hand, move that leg forward, do it. Pivot onto that right foot, so you're bringing the right heel down to the toes to point towards the right. Let your left heel line up with your right arch. Bring your right arm forward, and then reach it up and back, so the left arm reaches forward. Now again, those left toes, that left knee, that left hand are all pointing in the same direction. Lengthening here in your forward to relax the shoulders. Take a deep inhale. And exhale. Uh, window the arms. Make your way back into your runner's lunge. Fingertips either to your mat or your blocks. Take an inhale as you exhale. Step that right leg forward into your forward.
Hands to your shins, inhale halfway up. Exhale to fold. Rise up, inhale. And exhale, palms to prayer. And again, just take a moment. So from here, let's try tree pose. Okay, so you're welcome to go to a wall or if you have a chair nearby, you can place your right hand to your chair. Your right leg is going to be the standing leg. You're going to come to the ball of your left foot, turn the knee out. Place your foot either to your ankle or to your calf. Bring your palms to prayer, relax the shoulders. You're just going to breathe here. Okay, if you wobble like I am, it's quite all right. Just Bring that foot right back to where it was. <laughs> when you're ready, let's throw our branches, extend the arms up. And then exhale, palms to prayer. Let your left knee come forward, release the foot to the mat, and just stand in some STTD, palms to prayer. So moving right into the other side. Your left foot is your standing leg. You're coming to the ball of your right foot. Turn the knee out. Bring the foot either to your ankle or to the calf. Of the knee. Keep your palms to prayer for a moment, lengthen through your tailbone, lengthen through the spine. Wobble and fall if necessary. When you're ready, extend the arms, grow the branches. And let's bring our palms to prayer. Bring that right knee forward. Release the foot to the mat. Stand in some seating. Coming right back. Blocks. Releasing the arms, standing into Dawson as the palms forward. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, send it to your mat or your block. So take an inhale to look at them. As you exhale, the left leg steps back. You'll release the heels to the mat, turn the toes out, line the left, right heel up with your left arch, come back into warrior two. Lengthen through, release the shoulders. Good, take a nice deep inhale. As you exhale, windmill your arms, place the hands down, you're gonna come right back into your runner's lunge. This time you're stepping that right leg back to downward facing dog. And then just again, just taking your moment down the dog. Right leg floats up. You can don't worry about the height of your leg, but it be nice and strong and straight behind you. The foot flexed. Take a nice deep inhale. As you exhale, the knee comes toward your chest. You're gazing between the your blocks of your hand. And you're stepping that foot forward, taking that right hand, bringing it forward until the knee is over the ankle. Now, from there, we're going to make our way into warrior one. Okay, so take your left foot and bring it in just a bit so you can release the heel. This time, your toes are going to point towards the upper left corner of your mat, so they're on a 45 degree angle. Heel toe your right foot off to the side, give yourself a little wider stance. 
Your left leg is straight, the kneecap lifts, your right knee is bent right over the ankle. We'll reach the arms up, we'll float our torso up, shoulders come right over our hips. And then we'll reach the arms up. So again, just bending into your right knee and stretching through that left leg. Okay, making sure you can feel the outer edge of your left foot against the mat. Take a nice, you can tell here. And a slow exhale. Let your hands come back to your mat or your blocks. Come to your runner's lunge so you're lifting that left heel. Take an inhale as you exhale, step your way forward into your forward fold. Halfway up, inhale, lifting the spine. And exhale, fold it forward. Rise up, inhale, reach the hands up. And exhale, palms to your Once more, inhale, let the arms sweep up. Fold forward, exhale. Inhale, halfway up and elongate your spine and the leg. As you exhale, your right leg steps back into a runner's lunge. Making your way into warrior two, so the heel pivots down, your toes point towards the right. You'll heel toe your left foot in, so the heel lines up with that right arm. Your right arm reaches forward, floats up and back, and the left arm floats forward. So that left toes, the knee, and the left fingertips point in the same direction. And again, just lengthen here. And let the shoulders relax. Bring your shoulder blades to move down your back towards your tailbone. Lengthen to the outer edge of your right foot. Take it to the back. And as you exhale, let the arms wing up. Come to a runner's lunge. Let your left leg step back into downward dog. Left leg, take an inhale, let it float up again. Don't worry about the height of your leg. Try to point those left toes towards the mat. Stretch through your leg, flex the foot. Take another inhale as you exhale, bring the knee in towards your chest, really rounding, contracting your core, and placing that foot between your hands or your blocks. Get that knee right over your ankle. You gotta use your hand to move that leg forward. Do it. The right foot comes in just a bit so you can release the heel, and the right toes point towards the upper right corner of your mat. Okay, so it's on a 45 degree angle. Heel to the left foot off to the side to give yourself more of a wider base for your stance. Pulling the belly in, we'll go into warrior one so the chest is forward. Arms reach up. Again, stretch through your right leg, lift the kneecaps, so you're firming up that right thigh. Bend to your left knee. Relax the shoulders, lengthen to the sides of the wrist. Take a deep inhale. And then exhale, float back into your runner's lunge, hands to your mat or your blocks. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, step your way forward so that right foot steps to meet the left and move forward. Hands to your shins, inhale, halfway up, really long at your spine. And exhale to fold. Rise up, inhale, reach the hands up. And palms to prayer. Exhale, pause here.
this grab the blocks and come to the center of our mat. And we'll just open our legs wide. Place your blocks right in front of you. Lift those kneecaps so that you resist the urge to buckle in with the knees. Really feel the outside edges of your feet against the mat. We'll reach our arms up. Take a nice deep inhale as you extend the arms up. Then on your exhale, let your right hand come to your thigh. You're gonna reach your left arm up and over. Just give yourself a stretch here. So again, you're reaching through, feeling a stretch along your left side. Okay, so reaching from the outer edge of that left foot all the way out to the left foot. Take a deep inhale. And then exhale. Let float your knee up. Release that left arm. Again, keep lifting your kneecaps, lengthening through the outer edges of your feet. And then the arms float again and up. And as you exhale, the left hand comes to your thigh and we'll reach out and lift the right arm. Again, lengthening through that right side, lengthening from the outer edge of your right foot all the way out through the feet. One more full breath. And then inhale to float your way up. Exhale to release that way up. Let's bring our hands to our hips. Roll the shoulders back. Try to draw your shoulder blades towards your spine. Hug the elbows towards one another so you feel your chest lift. Pull the belly in and you lean back. Okay, so Really lengthening through, so lift the chest up towards the ceiling, try to arch your upper back, take an inhale. And as you exhale, come forward, try to hinge from your hips. Keep lifting those kneecaps, keep hugging your elbows towards one another, and then release your hands into your mat or your blocks. And with the crown of your head, point down towards the mat. Okay, really let your head go. One more full breath here as you lengthen through your head. Let's go to a flat back. Okay, so you can bring your hands to your blocks or keep them to your mat. The crown of your head is reaching forward, your tailbone is reaching back. Again, the shoulder blades are moving down your back, so the tips of your shoulder blades, the very bottom tips of your shoulder blades, are reaching towards your tailbone. We'll keep our left hand on our blocks and bring our right hand to our sacrum. Keep lifting your kneecaps. Keep elongating your spine. Take a deep inhale and as you exhale, rotate your torso so you're opening your chest towards the right. Let your right shoulder roll back. Keep lifting. Now this is Yogi's choice. You can keep your right hand where it is or you'll slowly and gently extend that right arm up. So the palm of your right hand is facing the right, so it's open towards the right. Okay. Fingertips reaching up towards the ceiling. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, release your right hand back to your block. Keep your spine nice and lengthened. Okay, so you're still in your flat back or neutral spine. You're still lifting those kneecaps and lengthening through the outer edges of your feet, so you're feeling this length through the outside of your legs. The right hand stays on the block. Keep pulling your belly in, keep elongating the spine so the crown of the head reaches forward, the tailbone reaches back. Left hand to the sacrum. Keep lengthening from all sides, take an inhale. And as you exhale, open your chest towards the left. Let that left shoulder roll back. Keep lifting your kneecaps. Resist the urge to buckle in those knees. And again, it feels good to that shoulder and that left arm. Reach your left arm up so the palm of your left hand is pointing towards the left, open towards the left. Fingertips reaching up towards the ceiling.
Take a deep inhale. And on your exhale, slowly release and fold forward. Okay, so again, your hands can just stay on your blocks or to your mat. Crown of your head, pointing towards the mat. Take a deep inhale here. And slow exhale. Slowly lift your chest. You're going to feel toe your feet in until they're just a little wider than hip width. Your toes are going to turn out. You're going to come into Malasana, the yogi squat. So you can use your blocks for this. Place it right underneath you as a seat. Knees are open, palms to prayer. Elbows rest in the inner knees, just gently drawing them back. Just snuggling the elbows in. Just gonna hold this pose for a moment. You're breathing nice and deep, so just lengthening your spine. If you need to sit on some blocks, sit on some blocks. One more full breath here. And just slowly release. You're just going to elegantly make your way to your hands and knees. And just place your blocks off to the side if you're sitting on them. And come to child's pose. Just let the knees open wide, big toes touch. Sit bones back towards your heels, or reach your arms forward and drop your forehead. Take one more full breath here. Slowly make our way up. You grab your folded blanket. You place it across your mat, and then we'll come and lay on it like we did at the beginning of our practice. So, Right on your knees, your belly, pelvis rests. Coming back into your sphinx pose. Okay, so the shoulders right over the elbows, the forearms are parallel, the legs are lengthened behind you. Lengthen your tailbone, pulling the belly and shoulders back. And just taking a moment here, gentle back bend. Slowly lower ourselves down. And then bring our arms alongside us. Forehead pointing down towards the mat. We'll draw your legs a little closer towards one another. They don't necessarily have to touch. The 
palms of your hands are facing the thighs. And again, you're lifting those kneecaps, so you're firming your thighs, let that happen. Lengthening your tailbone, so feel your pubis bone press into your blanket. You're lengthening the tailbone towards your heels. Let your shoulders roll back, so draw the shoulder blades towards the center of your body, so towards the spine, and then move your shoulder blades towards your tailbone. Let your fingertips reach back towards the heels. Come into Salambhasana. So you'll inhale, lift the chest, lengthening through here. And again, reaching those fingertips back, shoulders are drawn back, the neck is nice and long. Take a deep inhale and an exhale, slowly lower down, rest your head to one side. Once more, forehead to the mat, kneecaps lift, shoulders roll away from the mat, the arms lengthen, fingertips towards the heels, belly in, pubes going to the blanket, and inhale, lift your chest, lengthen your neck, nice deep breaths here. You really feel the activation of the muscles along your spine. Take one more nice deep inhale. And exhale to slowly lower down. Rest your head to the other side. And then our last one. Now this is Yogi's choice here. So you're going to bring the forehead back to the mat, lifting those kneecaps, shoulders roll away, arms reaching back, belly in, pubis going down towards the mat. Let's take an inhale, lift your chest. Uh, and then just take your exhale here. This is Yogi's choice. And you float your legs up so you have a blanket underneath you to kind of assist you in lifting those legs. So just put the legs in here. Again, let your neck be long. So just notice that you're cranking your neck back to try to lift your chest. Okay, let the chest lift, the gaze down and forward, and let the neck be long. Okay, take one more nice deep inhale. And then exhale to lower down. This time, take your hands, stack them, and then rest your forehead to the mat. Plant your hands to the mat. Slowly press your way to the tabletop. Move your blanket off to the side. We'll come back to that later. Shoulders right over your wrists, hips over your knees, fingers spread wide. You're going to do a few cat cows here. Okay, so just take an inhale to elongate your spine and then exhale to round into your back, chin to chest. Inhale, lift. Into cow, arch the back, tailbone up towards the ceiling, and exhale to round. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Now take an inhale into a neutral spine. As you exhale, press into your left hand and let your right arm reach up in the top. And then exhale, slide that right arm through your left, come all the way down, release your shoulder and your head to the mat. And we'll just direct all our breath to our upper back.
Take one more full breath here. Take that new left hand, press firmly down into it. Press your way back to your tabletop. Your right hand comes back to the mat. Take a moment just to neutralize here. Press into your right hand, take an inhale, reach the left arm up. And then exhale to slide it through your right. Come all the way down, release your left shoulder and your head. Direct all of your breath to your upper back. Take one more full breath. Press firmly into your right hand, pull that belly in and come right back to your tabletop. Now let's make our way on to our blanket. So we're gonna have a seat. Okay, have your strap ready off to the side. We'll extend the legs forward for a moment, sitting up nice and tall, just making sure your sit bones are evenly rooted down. Continuing on with the twist, let's draw our right knee in. You'll plant that foot right in the inner left thigh. Okay, so again, you're just sitting up nice and tall. Take your left arm, just wrap it around your right leg. You're hugging it in. Again, you're rooting down through that right sit bone. And then just lift your chest. Okay, so your chest can point towards that right leg for a moment. So you feel your belly against the thigh. Now take another inhale, your exhale, contract a little bit, pull the belly in. Let your right arm come behind you. And then exhale, open the shoulder, that right shoulder open, and okay, opening your chest towards the right. Okay, so you're flexing your left foot and breathing. Take one more full breath. Slowly come back to the center. Hug that right knee in. Now you're going to take your right arm, you're going to hug the right arm in, and we're just going to make our way over towards the left. So your left fingertips are going to come behind you. And you can keep your chest pointing a little bit more at a kitty corner, okay? Like pointing towards your left pinky toe. Left shoulder rolls back. And then just opening up. Take one more full breath. And slowly come back to the center. We'll extend the right leg. And we'll draw the left knee. Okay, so the foot rests right into the inner right thigh, rooting the sit bone, especially that left sit bone. Taking the right arm, wrapping around your left leg. And the belly and the chest points towards the leg. Bring your left hand behind you. 
Take an inhale as you exhale, let the left shoulder roll back, flex your right foot, and open into your foot. Just nice deep breaths here. Take one nice deep inhale. Slow exhale. Come right back to the center. Take your left arm. You're going to wrap it around that left leg. You're going to open your chest a little bit. Okay? More so pointing towards that outside of your right pinky toe. And then just bring your right hand behind you. Opening the chest and just breathing. One more full breath here. And slowly open up. And now this time you're going to take that left knee, open it out to the side, and then rest the sole of your left foot into your inner right thigh. So again, you're rooting your sit bones. If you feel any kind of tension in your left hip, Take your block or blanket, you have another one, and just prop the leg up so you can take that tension out of your hip. Grab your strap, and we'll strap the ball of our right foot. Okay, so again, you're rooting down through your sit bones evenly. Okay, as you root down, you're going to lengthen and grow up. Okay. Shoulders are down, moving towards your tailbone. We'll take a nice deep inhale. Okay, torso pointing towards that right leg. As you exhale, fold right on top of the leg. So really fold from your hips. If you start feeling your lower back round, just float your way up again. Keep the spine lengthened. If it's available for you to walk your hands down your strap, go ahead and do that towards your feet. But again, keep the spine long as you can so you're not rounding to your lower back. Keep deepening your breath. One more full breath here. As you continue to lengthen through that right leg, flex in the foot, sending your chest towards your toes. And slowly make your way up. And release your strap from that right foot. You'll draw your left knee in, extend the left leg. And then we'll draw the right leg in. So you're opening the knee out to the side, resting your right foot into the inner left thigh. And again, if you feel any tension on your, in your right hip, just prop it up so you can release that tension. Take your strap, strap the ball of your left foot, really root down through your sit bones so you feel it evenly pointing down to the mat. Your torso is pointing towards your left leg. Your spine is nice and long first. Shoulders are down, take an inhale. And as you exhale, hinging from your hips, so you're not rounding into the lower back or into the upper back, and you're keeping the spine as long as you possibly can as you hold on top of that leg. Keep your left foot flexed, relax the shoulders, and breathe into the sensation, breathe into your hamstring. Thank you. 
powerful breath here. And slowly make your way up. Now releasing your strap, please off the side for a moment. Okay. You're going to keep that right leg where it is, and this time you're going to draw your left foot in, and we're going to come into Baddha Konasana. So bound angle pose, or cobbler pose. Interlacing your fingers are either around the toes. You can wrap your hands around your feet, opening the feet up like a book with your thumbs, pressing into the arches of your feet, or you can hold on to your ankles. So whatever feels the best. You're still lengthening through, opening up the inner thighs, okay, dropping the shoulders. Now for some of us, for just some of us, this is probably enough. You feel the stretch in your inner thighs, you're lengthening the spine. Okay. If you like to come on the floor a little bit, again, you're not rounding into this. So you're not rounding into your lower back, but you're hinging forward from the hips, not from the waist. Okay, maybe you'll take your elbows and just rest them to the inner thighs so that you can draw them down towards the mat. Again, try to direct your chest past the toes. Breathe here. One more cool breath and slowly float your way up. Let's bring our hands behind us, your fingertips are going to face you. And you're just going to draw the knees together. And just taking a moment here, we'll walk your feet so that they're a little wider than your foot. So again, your hands are behind you, fingertips are facing towards you. We're just going to let our knees float from side to side. Let's do once more on each side. It's going to come into an upward tabletop. So again, your knees are bent, feet to the mat. Let your feet be hip width apart. Your fingertips are still pointing towards you. Spreading your fingers wide, pressing down to your feet and your hands. Take an inhale, lift your hips. Try to come into that upper tabletop. Hips lifted, shoulders back. Gaze up at the ceiling. And try to resist the urge to drop the head back. But keep the head in line with the rest of the spine. So imagine someone is cradling the back of your head. A few breaths here, lifting the hips, pressing firmly into your hands and into the Uh, take one more full breath and then slowly lower down. Okay. Now let's come on to our back. We'll hug our knees in towards our chest. Just gently rock side to side. Now coming into a figure four, you'll take your right ankle and just cross it over your left thigh. Interlace your fingers behind your left thigh and just gently draw your legs in. You'll flex your feet. Take 
and inhale. Keep your legs as they are as you exhale. And then uncross, hug your knees in. Take your left ankle, cross it over your right thigh, or lift your fingers around your right thigh. And then gently draw the legs in towards your chest, feel the left best for you for your final pose. For me, I like to take my blanket, fold it like a, like a rectangle, and have it laying the length of my mat. I'll lay back and just give myself a little bit of space between the short end of my blanket and myself. I'll lay back. Adjusting the shoulder blades so that they are against the mat and we're moving them down. Arms are away from the body. Legs are about as wide as my mat. And then just making sure that I'm nice and comfortable where I am. I'll take another deep inhale. And a slow exhale. And then just softening into my final resting pose, letting everything go.
Breathe again, deepen your breath. We'll bring your fingers on your toes. Reach your arms back behind you. Then stretch the arms and the legs away from each other. Take another inhale as you stretch through your body. Now the next time we're going to go, drop the back of the mat, allow yourself to go ahead and sit. Slowly bend your knees, bend your knees, bend your feet to the mat. Maybe you can hug the knees in towards your chest for a moment. Roll to your right. Let's lay in fetal position facing your right. Slowly press yourself to a comfortable seated position. We'll bring our palms to prayer at the center of our heart. Sitting up nice and tall, we'll bow our head. Let's take a moment of gratitude. Let's end our practice with some poems. Take a deep breath. Oh. The light in the name recognizes and honors the white name. Namaste. Thank you, yogis, for practicing. As always, stay safe and stay healthy.